Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of a Weekly Gaming News Show. Um, I have a lot to go over this week with little time to waste, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Overwatch's new event, Uprising, is live. This is Overwatch's version of a horde mode set on the King's roadmap during the Omnic Uprising. The event started this past Tuesday, April 11th, and runs through May 1st. There are event-specific spe loot boxes containing event-specific items in addition to the standard loot box drops. There are two modes, one in which only se the only selectable characters are Mercy, Torbjorn, Reinhardt, and Tracer, and another mode where any hero can be selected, and there are four difficulty levels. Microsoft to begin offering self-service refunds in the Xbox Live Store. Microsoft said they've heard their fans and responded by offering refunds on the Xbox Store for full games and paid apps. DLC is currently not included. The program is currently in a pilot testing phase and is only available to Xbox and Windows insiders. Games and apps will be available for full refunds within 14 days of purchase and that have less than 2 hours of playtime or use across all linked accounts. For new releases, there is a 1 day lockout before you could request a refund. Microsoft also noted that they reserve the right to block any user who, who abuses the system. Hopefully the test goes well and rolls out to all users. Porsche is now available in Forza Horizon 3. With Porsche's exclusive licenses deal with EA ending in 2016, Microsoft wasted no time in bringing them back to their Forza series, starting with Forza Horizon 3. Available now via the Porsche Car Pack the $6 for $6.99 on the Xbox Live Store are seven Porsche models. There are the 1955 Porsche 550A, the 1960 718 RS60 Spider, the 73 um, 911 Carrera RS, the 95 911 GT2, the 2016 Cayman GT4, the 2016 911 GT3 RS, and the 2017 Panamera Turbo. In addition to the car pack, Porsche entered a six-year pack with Microsoft's Forza series that have Porsche as a sponsor in Forza's third, third season of the Forza Racing Championship with the Porsche Cup. Previously, Porsche vehicles were exclusive to EA games, mostly the Need for Speed series, outside of a few sub-licensing agree sub agreements that had been struck with EA. Sonic Runners Adventure leaked a new mobile game. It seems that Gameloft, via their support page, let the cat out of the bag on a new mobile Sonic game, Sonic Runners Adventure. The page has since been taken down, but not before it's found that, unlike the previous mobile game, Sonic Runners, no internet connection will be needed to play. There are three different level types. Characters are in hero teams. Additional characters can be purchased with rings in the team screen or unlocked and there is a time mode. Now, none of this has been officially announced, so take any reports for what they are until we get an official announcement from Gameloft or Sega. Bayonetta releases on the PC, and Sega has more PC ports coming down the line. Platinum Games has released Bayonetta on PC, now available on Steam, seven years after the original PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 release. PC gamers get their fill of The Witch with Guns for Hills. The game is available for $19.99, and if you purchase it before April 25th, you will get access to the Digital Deluxe Edition, which includes avatars, wallpapers, original and original Climax Edition digital art book, and a five-track digital sampler at no extra charge. Bethesda to demo first hour of Prey. Bethesda will be allowing PS4 and Xbox One players to play one hour of their upcoming reimagining of Prey. The demo will be available starting April 27th on both platforms. If you like that hour, the game releases just a week later on May 5th for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Gearbox partnered with GT with G2A and sparked controversy. <laughs> Gearbox announced a partnership with G2A, which caused major controversy as G2A is known to allow the resale of game keys that are fraudulent, stolen, and or purchased with stolen credit cards. The partnership was for Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Gearbox attempted to save face by making ultimatum to G2A to, and then ultimately canceled the partnership after GTA, G2A failed to comply with their request. G2A responded in part with a statement that read, Unfortunately, sometimes they do not understand how G2A.com works, and such this misunderstanding causes them to mislead the public about our company. 
Nintendo to stop selling NES Classic. If you haven't gotten your NES Classic, start looking now as Nintendo has announced they will be discontinued in North America. In a statement to IGN, Nintendo states, Nintendo says, throughout April, NOA territories will receive the last shipments of Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition systems for this year. We encourage anyone interested in obtaining this system to check with the retail outlets regarding availability. We understand that it has been difficult for many consumers to find the system, and for that we apologize. We pay incredible we pay close attention to consumer feedback and we greatly appreciate the incredible level of consumer interest and support for this product. They went on to say that the NES Classic was never meant to be a long-term product and extra shipments were added on their original plan to meet high demand. Nintendo Switch sells over 900,000 units. March NPD, NPD numbers are out for Nintendo and it's estimated that Nintendo sold more than 906,000 Switch units, making it the fastest selling Nintendo console of all time and one of the fastest selling game consoles of all time. Additionally, numbers for Zelda Breath of the Wild were released and Nintendo hit it out of the park, selling a whopping 1.3 million copies, 925,000 Switch version, versions and 460,000 Wii U versions. You may notice that more copies of the Switch version of Zelda were sold than the actual Switch units. It is believed that most of the extra copies can be chalked up to collectors purchasing a collector's edition to keep and a standard edition to play. In any case, those numbers make Zelda Breath of the Wild the fastest selling Nintendo launch game of all time and the fastest selling Zelda game of all time. All these sales numbers are specific to the North to Nintendo of America. And finally, Nintendo Direct Recap. This past Wednesday on April 12th, Nintendo held another Nintendo Direct. This time the focus on the upcoming so to focus on the upcoming software releases. Nintendo announced release dates for some of the Switch games we saw at the January Switch reveal. They are as follows. On April 25th, Puyo Puyo Tetris will be available. Mario Kart 8 races to the Switch on April 28th. On May 11th, Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition is available. On May 23rd, we get Disgaea. And then on May 25th, Ultimate Street Fighter 2 The Final Challenge is dropped. Moving on to June, ARMS gets released on the 16th. And in July, the 21st, one of the most anticipated Switch games, Splatoon 2, gets released. On July 25th, Fate, Extella, the Umbral Star also hit Switch. Further out are Sonic Mania this summer, Sonic Forces this winter, Monopoly in Fall, Payday 2 in the winter, Namco Museum Summer, two THQ Nordic titles, Sign Mora EX, and Battle Chasers Night War this summer. Nintendo also announced 10 new games for the 3DS and new Amiibos in June and July. And finally, for those that want to dock the Nintendo Switch to multiple TVs without moving their dock, the Nintendo Switch standalone dock goes on sale on May 19th. That will be all for this week's show. I thank you for watching. I cannot leave without mentioning our sponsor, Street Fighter New Challenger, the go-to destination if you want to improve your Street Fighter V skills. Street Fighter New Challenger offers coaches, weekly online tournaments, and has a very friendly and active community that is willing to step you through the basics as well as advanced techniques. Have a character you want to get better at? Or learn from the ground up? Street Fighter New Challenger offers character-specific coaches to get you well on your way. Go to www.newchallenger.gg today and start yourself on the road to being a great Street Fighter V player. And finally, watch and listen to a weekly gaming news show Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. UTC, simulcast live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Archives are available by noon the following day. The video archive is available on our YouTube channel. While you can get the podcast from most podcatching apps, iTunes, Google Play, or TuneIn Radio. We'll see you there. And on a programming note, there'll be no a weekly gaming news 10 and 10 next week, April 22nd. And the April 23rd episode of a weekly gaming news show will be moved to Monday, April 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UTC.